Hi everyone again. One of you asked me about coronavirus and um, in an earlier video I was talking about um, double-stranded DNA, single-stranded DNA, okay, and so on. Double-stranded and the RNA versions, okay. Somebody asked me how this relates to coronavirus, so I thought I'd explain a bit more to, to, to make clearer. Coronavirus has what you call a, um, a positive sense RNA, okay? That basically means it's basically the same as messenger RNA, okay? Messenger RNA, okay? Um, it has, so it has a positive sense, single-stranded RNA, okay? So it's just a virus that contains, a single strand means it's got, a, the RNA is, it's got a cap at one end, five prime cap, followed by U, U, A, so, yeah, A, G, G, so C, G, A, um, and finishes off with what you call a poly A tail, okay? Poly A tail. So one end is something called a cap, the other end is a poly A tail. Lots of it, lots of adenines, okay? So it just means the virus, if it's that shape, contains a single messenger RNA, okay? Whereas another virus might have a couple of a couple of RNAs, okay? How they're linked together is probably more complicated than that. They're probably joined in some way or intertwined, but it has two RNAs. They might even be being a double helix. Um, some of them, I believe, I think are a loops as well, rings. So, yeah, um, it just means it's got a single RNA, okay, strand, whereas that's um, two strands. And other viruses might contain a double-stranded DNA like that, which you're all familiar with, okay? Okay, another virus is might contain um, a single-stranded... So, each virus, different viruses, either the single double-stranded RNA or single double-stranded DNA, is just the way they've evolved in evolution. Coronavirus has a single, basically, messenger RNA, okay? In our, in our bodies, we have a double-stranded DNA, okay? It's just the way their genetic information is carried. Um, just how their... Genetic info is carried, okay? Um, different species of virus, different classes, probably have similar kinds of nucleic acid, but not always. So, and the, and the coronavirus is 24 to 0.4 to 31.7. That's the RNA, okay? So it's 24.4 thousand to 31.7 thousand bases, okay? Long. Kilo bases, okay? All right, clear? So it's 24.4, 24,400 to 31.700 bases, okay? There's a bit of variation. So that's how long the RNA is. And the bases are the a, the U, the G, the C, the C, the C, or the U, A, A. These are the bases. So it's RNA ranges from a number of bases, 
from 24,400 to 31,700 bases that came along, and these are the bases. So this has got three, six, nine bases. That's nine that came here. Um, the, so said they can be double single-strand RNA DNA. They're just different types that have evolved in evolution. The positive RNA, okay, that encodes a something called an RNA dependent. An RNA, an RNA dependent RNA polymer polymerase. So that's an enzyme that basically um replicates the DNA, okay? So sort of replicates the RNA. Okay, so this actually does it by going um, RNA dependent RNA polymerase. It actually uh, it does it by takes the positive. RNA, the positive sense RNA, makes a negative sense RNA, okay? And then makes a new positive RNA, okay? So basically takes UAGG -G as a bit of the sequence, turns it into AUCC, -C, and then converts it back into UAGG. See? So if that's a little bit of it, it takes the bases UAGG, converts it into, so it's RNA dependent RNA polymerase, converts it into AUGCC because that's A, U becomes A, A becomes U, G becomes C, G becomes C, and then converts it back into. That, that converts that and that then convert, that's converted to UAGG. So A becomes U, U becomes A, C becomes G, C becomes G, okay? Yeah? Using the RNA dependent RNA polymerase, okay? So, um, yeah, this is the positive and that's the negative sense. That's the negative sense RNA and this is the positive sense RNA, the messenger RNA, okay? Um, so that's, yeah, does that help you understand what, how the DNA and RNAs relate to coronavirus? It's just a virus that contains a single-stranded um, UAAGGC. There's a bit of it, messenger RNA, one end is a cat, one end is a poly A tail. And the cat and poly A tails just, um, which I mentioned here, the cap and poly A tail is just a way of identifying the end of the it's in the cell. Okay. I hope that's a bit clear. It's all chemistry. It's about but the chemistry is used to identify the molecule, where it is in the cell and which end of the molecule is which and the, st the structure of the molecule, okay? Chemistry labels The molecules it labels the shape, okay? Does that make sense? It labels the molecule shape, okay? I hope that's a bit clearer. Bye.